Hello everybody, my name is Bear, and this is Volume. It's a stealth game by Mike Biffle, the man responsible for Thomas Was Alone, which was one of my favorite games of 2012. And now, much like Thomas, this game prominently features the voice acting talents of Danny Wallace, along with newcomer Charlie McDonnell, who many of you may know as Charlie is so cool like on YouTube. I've played a few missions already, but I've completely uh, erased my story of progress just to be able to start from literally the first steps with all of you here and now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Watch the introductory cutscene. This is volume. Construction mask activated. Assets loading. Loading. I'm gonna pause this real quick here because I just do want to mention I'm gonna try to keep quiet as much as I can during the uh, narrative parts uh, that Danny and Charlie. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna call them Danny and Charlie. That makes it sound like on a first name basis with them. The voice talents Danny Wallace and Charlie McDonald, they do a terrific job through the course of the entire game. So I'm gonna shut my mouth for the most part, also allow you to read this amazing tutorial text. But you guys get to hear them instead of me. Activated. Assets loading. Loading. Okay, 14 files missing, 2 files corrupted, minor errors located in source code line 711 and 2300. Hello, tutorial 1. Uh, of course. You don't mess around, eh? Sorry, I'm being rude, aren't I? Not at all. Welcome to the volume. I represent the current high bar of Gisborne Industries training technology. Full volumetric projection in a 31 by 31 meter square. You've used a virtual training environment before, I assume? No. But, uh, I'm excited to try. I I'm Rob, by the way. Hi, Rob. Alan. Alan? I can assure you that Artificial Life Solutions took great time and effort in focus testing my name. Uh, Alan was arrived upon after many months of market research. Alan's your buddy. You know Alan. Of course I know Alan. I love Alan. Etc. I get it. Okay, Alan. Let's do this. Uh, do you like the color? Uh, beautiful. I'm capable of showing 16,000 colors. We can't have you shooting at drab enemies. Uh, you simulate weapons. Well, there wouldn't be much of a military training simulator if I didn't, Rob. These first few environments are focused on movement and evasion only. We'll get to the guns later. Awesome guns. No rush. Beautiful. So we've solved the mystery of uh, moving around. It only took us about a minute and a half. Job well done for us. Let's move on to Diamonds in the Rough. No rush. We're introduced now to, I guess, what you would call the core mechanic of the game. The camera's on. Gem subsystem activated. These are obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. Don't really have the processing budget to model a hundred different kinds of trinkets, so let's go a bit searching thesaurus for synonyms of cheap minimalist. Collect them all to open the no exit. Rush. Pretty straightforward there, and the actual gameplay itself, as you can probably already tell, is very Metal Gear-esque. Traditional stealth is the name of the game. And uh, thus far, <laughs> it's performing quite well. As you can see, gathering these gems fills up the energy bar over there in the top right corner. You got your time ticking away over on the left side there. And there is your exit. Gives you the par time, of course just to give you some sort of goal to strive for. This is an adjusted version following user request for stealth scenario, simple AI implemented and add personalities later. Get your leaderboard over there on the right side as well, we're just gonna keep on jumping through. No rush. 
And now we're introduced to our first instance of enemies. These are called pawns. They stand in your way, although they are very, uh, very oblivious <laughs> to, <laughs> to obstructions in their immediate surroundings. They have a very, very precise cone of vision. One which you may enter if you like dramatic music. You've got previous experience, right? You've been a Gizmo employee for a while. Uh, you could say that. Uh, the next environment focuses on beginner gunplay, but it looks like you might be beyond that. I'm experiencing temporary errors in my employee database. Standard guard training, right? Walking back and forth, keeping an eye on the family jewels. Yep. What else have you got? I tend to work a bit more subtly. Oh, infiltration. Knew it. Probably black ops, bomb type stuff. Maybe that's why you're not in the database. Stealth. Pretty cool. Okay. Can do this. I'm applying a bit of simple AI to each guard. Enough for you to go up against. So, simulated stealth. Perfect. Uh, it's not perfect, but it should help you practice the skills you'll need for what comes next. Thanks. So I'm skipping a couple of these text blocks on the floor. They're basically just giving you praise for being able to figure out the simple mechanics of the game all by yourself. You're such a big uh, boy or girl. Perfect, but it should help you practice the skills you'll need for what comes next. Thanks. So it's giving us a heads up. There's the oh my goodness, David. Really? I know bits and pieces. Hundreds of volumes installed up and down the country. They say it's the biggest private military spend since devolution. Secretive, like Bond. Architects, you're good. Which weaponry would you like simulated, sir? Uh, none for now. I should never get mad at Dan or yeah, Danny. Did I say David? What am I saying? What words am I using? His name is Danny. I'm I'm crazy. Okay, anyway, I should never get mad at him for speaking, but... The gist of what it was telling us here is, uh, you hold left trigger to hug the wall like so. Using the A button around corners will shift you around like that. And, uh, more or less, you just- oh my god, yeah, that was a mistake, okay. Oh, yeah, he shot me in the back of the head. And there's the checkpoint! heard him do that yet uh, yeah that's the uh, that's the bottom line stay out of their cone of vision keep yourself in stealth pop over to the other side of the wall here there we go and as uh, of course these are just very early stages so they got to give you at least a few moments to get your bearings ha 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 bear pun things do get very very interesting Move on to waste management. Added support to AI to hear environmental noises. Quite proud of this, actually. The world interactions were not covered by the original maps. Hey, did you see Rockley smile up there? Nick with the top time. Look at him go. Dom. With a man whose line of sight lines up directly with our objective, what shall we do? My studies of pre-volumetric simulations show that flushable toilets are incredibly important to create a sense of presence. Use them to distract these pawns. Makes you sound so goddamn pretentious when you say it like that. Typical use the noise to make a distraction tactics, although this is not at all where we need to go, so I might be dead. Yep. <laughs> that was That's where the exit is. So we'll be heading there in a little while, but absolutely not right now. Let's try to run this toilet flush and see how well that fares. There we go. That's more along the lines of what we're looking for. Let's just run back through the checkpoint. We're good to go. Again, though, just introducing us to what we can come to expect in the near future here. Yeah, uh, just completely Metal Gear. I mean, if you've played Metal Gear games, you've got a good idea of what's going on here, but... I really do like the the theme that they're playing at here. So you probably noticed he called himself Rob. His, his name is Loxley in the uh, in the subtitles. That thing? We did that thing? That was such a good thing. God, I know. I'm so great. Rob, short for Robin. You couldn't piece that together. Robin of Loxley. This is a modern take on the Robin Hood story, and you'll learn more about that as we go. I'm sure. I believe there was 
A little bit more narrative here, but I'm sure we'll find it at some point. We're shown at this stage that the pawns can move! They're so clever. I'm so proud of them. They were so stoic moments ago, and now they're so full of life. And he just said that's gotta be worth some more viewers, and I guess that's another thing I should, uh, briefly discuss. Although I'm pretty sure Charlie is gonna tell us about it at some point. I shouldn't call him Charlie either. I'm completely breaking the, uh, the sense of immersion here. It's terrible. Quickly grab these gems. There we go. Nice and sneaky. No harm done. Gotta make sure he's within sound range here as well. I think he's gonna flip the other way. Nope, he's not. He's absolutely gonna flip right at me. Oh, how perfect. Let's try going around the, uh, the correct direction this time, I suppose. So flushing this toilet actually is gonna be good right here. He's gonna get distracted by that. Flip back around, grab these. Perfect. I think I can just... If I watch his cycle for a moment here, I can actually see which direction he turns where he ends up. So I think I might just be able to sneak right behind him like this. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and easy. Wait for him to make his move, and there's our exit. Beautiful. Oh, I can totally make it out. Yeah! Suck on that! The banker traded with Gisborne. He earned the right to know whom to invest in by helping Gisborne maintain his list of allies. Information on this list whereabouts are stored here. Look at those two fools in the top three. We're gonna have to make them pay for their uh, for their confidence. It's a nice person, this one. Must have been the wind. Let's see here. Oh god, yeah, that's <laughs> right out of the gate. Oh my god. All right. I'm being punished for my insolence, I guess. Now, if I remember correctly, I think these guys are all, uh... going in just one big cycle, so let's... take a little adventure around this way. Oh, I missed a gem right there. I think I'll come back around for it, though. We'll see how things go. I do really like the perspective shift once you do hug a wall like that. It gives you a better view of your surroundings, but... <laughs> admittedly, it's, it's kind of silly that you can do this. That you can just be right up in their grill. Basically no punishment whatsoever. But I suppose that's maybe even just a little bit of an homage to... how that's been silly since time immemorial. This is a pretty straightforward stage here though. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab everything we got. Missing a few gems. We do have to go all the way back down here, I believe, unless this... Oh, yeah, here we go. Excerpt from My Kind of Guy, article in Synergistic UK Magazine. I find myself in the reception area of Gisborne Industries, Nottingham. The walls ooze ambition. Like Gisborne himself, the setting places utility first, with attention to detail prized above all else. An ebony coffee table cut in an abstract, faceted form acts as a centerpiece, holding the usual brochures and a couple of the day's newspapers. I sit on a plush chair. I'm later told it is produced extremely locally. How can you produce something extremely locally? We produced it so damn hard right here where you live you couldn't possibly believe it. My throne is bold form and utterly intricate detailing. Utility and specificity. Specifi specificity. This chair, this room, they are good waypoints for the man I am about to meet. We shall find out more about this modern take on Robin Hood. Yeah? It's quite interesting the way that they've done it. I, 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 I want to describe it so badly, but I want to let the game do it for you. Because that's way better than me ruining it. It'd be like, hey, I just watched the Godfather for the first time. Here's an essay about why it's garbage. That's the equivalent. That's exactly what I would be doing. Environment complete. The list is in the bunkers, the banker's own home. I've generated this map from his private records. Well, that's not a problem. So these simulations that we're running, they are uh, all of course part of a grander scheme. Rooms will always have a convenient toilet to flush. Fortunately, you have the capacity to make noises unaided. You're so good at that. 
Press X to whistle. And or Jason if you feel the need. But yeah, what's, uh, what's very interesting what uh, Loxley has alluded to a couple of times is that this is all being broadcast. We are, we are taking the form of uh, perhaps somebody like myself attempting to garner an audience for what we deem to be uh, important things. I think mine's probably a little bit more critical to society's well-being than what he's doing, right? Or at least I can tell myself that. Got to take a little bit of a gamble here. Hope that he's not going to go all the way around. That's right. Prioritize convenience, Mr. Pawn. Certainly there wouldn't be somebody hiding in the second hallway. All the gems are gone, but you don't need to worry about that. Oh boy, actually, I think I... Oh yeah, this... Uh-oh. Uh... Yeah... <laughs> yes! There we go! Okay, good. Yeah, perfect. That totally did the job. Awesome. They can't see me. I'm grabbing these. I gotta get in there before they leave. Ooh, yes! Well done. The exiled co-founder of Gisborne Industries has been allowed to run a small subsidiary. A subsidiary, that's the word, a job she despises, but continues ruthlessly. Staffing patterns extrapolated from employment history. I'm on Z. Let's see here. Whistle there is not going to do anything for me. He's not quite in range if I do that either, so I suppose I'm going to have to do this. Get him around the other side. There we go. Loxley, the man of very quiet footsteps. At least I'm led to assume that. What do we have here? Pawns don't just walk where you whistle, they also walk back. I figured that one out, actually. Believe it or not. Managed to deduce that on my own. Oh boy, what do we do here? I guess I could just tell you what, if we just lose this. Oh god, no. Oh, that almost worked. Oh, I could get these maybe. Sneak around! Sneak around! Nope! Oh, god, oh, god, 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 god. Run! Woo! Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, man, wow! That actually worked! Wonderful, okay! Now at the checkpoint. We're gonna whistle over this way. I can probably just sit right here. Where the convenient tutorial text box is telling me exactly where to go. There it is. Most patterns can be broken. Easy enough to figure out. We've got four men operating in a pattern that it seems impenetrable until you take one out of the cycle. And then the entire sphere breaks. Slowly the machine begins to crumble. And we get the gems for it. What fun. Tippity tippity toe. Where he stops, nobody knows. Well, actually, I imagine it's in, the, in that giant beam of light right there. Might be, might be a bit of a giveaway. The Queen's home is smaller than the one she enjoyed pre-war. Her London flat once belonged to a high-ranking government minister, now missing. His riches remain. Mike Bithell up there with the top time. Look at that guy go. Dutiful presence in his own game. And the creak in the night. An indication of things to come. Little floor platforms create a sound whether you like it or not. Be easy to sneak by here still. Make sure we don't get spotted by that guy turning around. Grab a quick checkpoint. Checkpoint. That's how you say that word. Out loud with your mouth. Oop. Nice. So I've mapped events. From what I can tell, a single agent, AT-23612, nice, a Turing reference, fitting, triggered a big spike, the ones you saw. Looks like the problem was one of overlaps. Multiple agents spawned in single locations. Now usually you'd just see a crash at that point, or our own failsafes would have kicked in. For whatever reason, he, well, he befriended other agents. Together they managed to connect to the outside world for a matter of seconds. 
It was enough. They figured out how to project AI out of the confines of the program. AT-23612 was stuck there. But they got two other seeds out. And now they're multiplying. Hundreds of thousands of them, millions soon. I've locked down the servers they're running on. We need to work out what to do with these things. I just called one of them he, for God's sake. That was 20 years ago. According to, uh... According to the knowledge I've ascertained about the game's timeline. Very interesting. So, we can't, we can't avoid this noise pad, so I guess we just have to do something like sneak quickly over there. That does the job. Easy points right there, and then it looks like we got a similar problem with this one. Make sure we stay hidden early on. Luckily, they don't care much to uh, keep their vision on whatever did create the noise. Bodes well for us, usually. I'm going to go ahead and keep sneaking by just in case. There we go. Brilliant. Environment complete. The queen has upped security. I'm not sure why. Her company's head office contains a lot of expensive equipment an unscrupulous person could take. Now one of the, uh... Oh, there we go. To access the employee database again. And it's not there. No. I'm very sorry. Why can't I find you in my records, Rob? Why can't I find any records? What are your memory? Real quick, the bugle can, of course, be set off midair by pressing right trigger again. We just picked up the bugle, which is our mobile distraction unit. You'll see it in effect as we go through this level. What are your memories before activating my mask? Oh. Oh dear. What? I... I reset you, Alan. But I've only just been installed. The applicants are arriving shortly. It'll be back-to-back -back shifts. Gisborne wants so many trained. I don't fully understand Alan, why. Alan, it's... It's May the 1st, 2054. Nine years? Nine years. Nine years since Gisborne used volumes just like you to train his men to take this country from his people. So, I'm not cutting edge. The database you're looking for hasn't existed for about five years. I honestly hoped it would take you a bit longer to realize. I suspected something earlier when you didn't want a gun. All my simulations need guns. The applicants you trained made heavy use of them in the coup. Oh my god, wow! Holy crap! The applicants Ooh. you trained made heavy use of them in the coup. I'm sorry. Rob, I... I activated the witness contingency the moment I began experiencing database issues. Witness contingency. Page 79, paragraph 3. In situations where user identity cannot be confirmed, the AI will broadcast an encrypted record of all events on Gisborne networks. The user's identity is protected in line with company policy. I'm sorry, Rob. I liked you. I hope Gisborne's forces treat you with as much leniency as they're allowed. You think those old channels are still open? I'm not broadcasting. Oh, you're broadcasting all right. But not to Gisborne. Right now, at this second, you are broadcasting across the net to all of England. They're watching everything we've done here. If it's public, he'll see it. His squads will be on their way. I imagine we have his attention. But I kept our location out of the feed. They'll have to search hundreds of forgotten volumes to find us. But why? Why are you even here? Well, you've been using real-world locations for these simulations, right? Yes. Associates of Gisborne, but in my database is training environments for guards. I repurpose them for your theft simulations. Cross-reference those addresses with news reports in the last hour. Oh. That fast, eh? People are copying you. They're stealing the possessions of Gisborne's allies just like you do. Hang on. This is intentional. Are you with me? We're going to show England how to take it all back. All of it will equalize Gisborne's little estates. I was purchased in full by Gisborne Industries. I am, however, programmed to follow the orders of the most senior person in the room, which, technically, is you. I must comply. Until the squads get here anyway. That'll do. For now. Let's carry on. A little bit more exposition than I thought would, uh... ...fit conveniently into this stage, but all the same, that's the storyline. And it's very interesting. 
I like it quite a bit. But there it is. The environment complete, and we're moving on to Squash Racket. But that's going to do it for the first episode of Volume, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I want to play plenty more of this one, and I probably will regardless of anything. So you don't have to do nothing. Just like the video if you want. And thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what you see, too. Post a whole bunch of videos on YouTube, because I like that. All right. <laughs> I, got, I got really excited because I like this story. But we're going to play a lot more volume here in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.